Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 17th of August. Uh, we'll just start off with the news. There is not a lot. Uh, uh, there's very little coming out today. Um, we've got a uh, the RBA, uh, Reserve Bank of Australia Assistant Governor Ellis speaking at 8.30. Um, we've got the final uh, CPI inflation data coming at 10 o'clock for Europe, which generally doesn't do too much, but may just... Uh, um, well, you never know, but uh, it, t it tends to do very little. Um, and then we've got the Canadian data coming out, uh, uh, inflation data coming out on 1.30. Consumer sentiment uh, uh, in the US at 3. So it's uh, it's very, l well, this inflation data for Canadian, da uh, Canadian dollar may be effective at 1.30, but uh, it's, it's quite limited data. So uh, looking at the technicals, Starting with the uh, euro dollar, with well, the euro dollar put in a, uh, at least another update yesterday, um, and is pushing up at the moment. Looking like it's still got potential towards that weekly pivot. The moving average is moving. Uh, ironically, no surprise really. It continues to move down, so uh, targets may be a bit shorter than that uh, weekly pivot. Uh, with the four hourly fifty now sitting at fourteen fifty seven, um, pretty close to where the uh, 58 on the uh, 60 minute 200 so still a potential for those to be hit whether they'll be hit today they'll that'll be a hundred pip range which um, is unlikely uh, unless something um, po positive happens and we, we see a, a decent run uh, of late we may we've been seeing a, a lot more towards the 60 70 pip uh, average true range uh, true range for the uh, euro so uh, um, as I say, big ask, but uh, it could at least be pitching up that way anyway. We'll see how it runs. Uh, of course, um, this morning it may, uh, if it does break to the lower side, well, I yeah, would we'll just be looking at a trend line across the lows here, where, roughly where that 34 move, it blue 34 moving average line is. If it starts breaking that well, maybe the S1, um, yesterday's pivot, pivot, which was untouched, that sort of level. Okay, um, that's the uh, euro, the pound. So again, a little update yesterday, um, wasn't quite so positive, but uh, still moved, um, yeah, very similar move to the Euro overall, and still got the potential to run up to that 4 hour 50, 60 minute 200 sort of zone. Um, monthly, uh, weekly pivots again, just may be a bit too far for them to be uh, hit this week and get the stats right for me, but um, we will we'll see but for now maybe a little bit overbought on the short term time frame um let's just check oh, i was okay on the hourlies but it may on the 30 minute be a bit overbought but uh i'll see how it reacts but uh at the moment still making the right sort of signals we've still got higher lows running through this market and higher highs it's uh still got the potential to push on there but as i say very well bit of a choppy old day yesterday it's certainly slightly weaker than the euro Dolly yen well um, I was looking at this yesterday it, uh, it was uh, to and throw a little bit here and uh, again another sort of a choppy market it did eventually start selling off in the sort of um, late late afternoon there strengthening on the 12 o'clock bar but um, and then then took a bounce again but at the moment again it's looking like it's got potential further downside there um, which fits nicely, it's nicely correl correlated with what we're seeing with the euro and the pound at the moment. Um, likewise, I really, I mean, if this was to start and reverse on us um, completely, well, we could be looking back towards the R, uh, R1 sort of area, that uh, 60 minute 500 may may cause a bit of a, um, bit of a draw, but um, at the moment it does look like, well, perhaps it's broken the trend that's run across the lows of this, these uh, uh, along these lows here, so may, maybe it's got more downside. Aussie dollar, we remember 8:30. Some news coming out, or the governor, uh, assistant governor speaking. So, uh, I mean, we're just seeing a similar picture again to the euro here. Um, looking, erring, um, maybe a little bit more bullish actually in some respects and. Well, I don't know when you look at the alley, it did exactly the same pattern there. Um, so perhaps not then. <laughs> but um, 
already hit the daily pivots they all have um, looking for potential up to the R1 today it very much depends on what comes out from the assistant governor's uh, speech there at 8.30 maybe uh, but uh, it's one that sits in shop for a long periods of the day uh, on normal days so um, wouldn't be surprised if we saw the same Canadian dollar well it's all a bit further softening actually on the Canadian dollar where oil prices have been uh, lower um, overall and uh, well it's switching um, looks like it may even break at some point this trend line um, but uh, it has now done pretty much a triple top there um, see how that holds on there with the, if the um, pound and the euro are pushing up I would expect the, in general the Canadian dollar to be running down unless oil's uh, dropping off quickly let's just have a look at the price of oil here mm, it's consolidated um, since uh, Wednesday there so it's consolidated in where it's going it's not really moving too much but uh, so Canadian dollar just drifting in its own on its own there but uh, may, may pull back a little bit um, today it's at the moment still looking like it's got potential for further downside so it's put lower high in just there confirmed lower high and uh, effectively done the same again so uh, but that uh, 60 minute 50 may give some support we'll see how that runs but uh, it's it's a market that quite often in the earlier part of the day up until about midday can chop and oh, I'll expect it may well just do the same uh, don't forget there's a lot of data out on it at 1.30 so could be a bit uh, a bit of one to miss out on today okay that's pretty much it for me um, covered the news have a great day bye for now